What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we are going to be retouching this beautiful image of this model that I shot in South Africa. I um, had an amazing time when I was there. Big shout out to everybody that came out um, to shoot with me, to hang with me. You guys all rock. But anyways, let's get straight into um, this image. Now, the first thing I always do when it comes to retouching my images is process them in capture one i already did that for this particular image and what i'm just going to do is retouch this image in photoshop i think i'll break this video into two parts the part where i'll be retouching the skin and the part where i'll probably be doing a little bit of skin toning and color grading and, and all that stuff but yeah let's get straight into it so for an image like this Ooh, sorry <laughs> for an image like this the first thing i'll do is probably just take out the blemishes if you did not watch the previous video i put out definitely check that out um i showed how to clearly see blemishes in images like this so the first thing i want to do is run my frequency separation action right so basic frequency separation i'll probably leave my um radius at 14 and just go um with that now, if you want any of my actions, I have my amazing retouching essentials pack that has 14 amazing actions and I'll probably be adding more actions to those before the end of the year. So if you want to get on that, then definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description below to my digital store where you can check out my actions, my um, free presets. You can also check out my lots and also my free lots. And also if you want to get like in depth into retouching, I'll put a link in the description below to my almighty retouching course where you know you'd learn everything from frequency separation advanced frequency separation global dodging and burning micro dodging and burning like the whole nine yards of beauty retouching you learn from that course so i'll put a link in the description below so the first thing i want to do is just take out the blemishes as usual so pick a clone stamp tool um make sure that i am on current layer and um to see the blemishes very well what i'm just going to do is use the check layer that um i taught you know how to um i thought you how to use in the previous video so definitely check that out to learn more about this particular check layer okay great so somewhere around here is fine so i'm just going to go back down to my um high frequency layer um just and just work so right now what i'm going to do is just take out the blemishes and when i'm done taking out my blemishes i'll the blemishes i'll be right back At this point, anything that is on the face is seen as acceptable or natural. So um, you don't want to take out all the texture on your subject's face. So just put that at the back of your mind. At the same time, you know, you can take texture from somewhere and put it, you know, somewhere else just to make sure that the texture on the face is even. You don't want a situation where, um, let me just give a quick example. You are taking texture from here and putting it over here and you can see how uneven that texture is. So I'm just going to undo that. Okay, great. So um, there's this part of the eye that I really do not like. So I'm just going to sample somewhere on here and paint over it. Okay, great. Okay, great. So I think our subject looks really, really good at this point. Um, like I said, you don't want to do too much when it comes to um, the textures. Just make sure you keep everything as even as possible. If for some reason I have to work on the textures again, then I'll always come back to that. Okay, great. So right now what I'm going to do is run my um, complete dodge and burn actions. So um, just run the whole action 
and um, what I'm going to do on my check layer is just you know mess around with this till I can see you know the highlights, shadows, and and mid tones very well, right? So I'm going to come down to micro dodge and burn, and what I'm going to do is pick a brush. Right now we are just working on um, the skin. We're just retouching the skin. We're not doing any color work or anything. We're just trying to get the skin to look as good as possible. So at this point, what I'm going to do is burn my hi highlights. So at this point, what I'm going to do is burn my highlights, as you guys can see right here. Um, this part of her face is is pretty bright, so I'm just going to. Um, burn that now the thing about the invert check layer is that it it inverts your image so you know you have your highlights showing up as um, blacks and you have your um, shadows showing up as white so you have to learn to um, understand that when it comes to retouching so if I turn it off right now you can see this place that is really really bright I am burning that and it's starting to look even so i mean micro dodge and burn is is probably one of the easiest things that you would learn when it comes to retouching or once you've learned micro dodge and burn you just it just becomes a, a part of you because it, it gives your image this look that you would never be able to get a frequency separation or for the most part you'll not be able to get consistently with frequency separation you know you might you might use frequency separation once or twice and get an image that looks really good but with micro dodge and burn you you get that look consistently and, and it just looks great yes it takes a lot more time than than frequency separation definitely takes a lot more time um but once you've learned how to do it trust me there's no going back because you'd be able to see how different your images are compared to when you were just using only frequency separation. Now, I'm not saying you should just use micro dodge and burn and not use frequency separation. I have learned how to mix both to to save time. You know, I do the the bulk of my work with um, with micro dodge and burn, and then I finish up with frequency separation. So at this point, with the little I've done, let's see how before and how after. So I'll turn off my in the check layer, let's see how before and how after. You can see with the little I've done, I've made quite a lot of progress around here. And um, what I'm going to do right now is just speed up the video and finish up with my micro dodge and burn. So at this point, I am done with my micro dodge and burn and quickly, let me show you what the before and after looks like. So this is the before and this is the after before and after you guys can see with the invert check layer. And now this is the before and after without the invert check layer, the before and the after. Now with retouching, you don't have to do everything with one particular thing. You can always, you know, just switch up, you know, try some more stuff with like the, um, frequency separation the micro dodge and burn you know like just add everything together to get like a really complete image and right now what i'm going to do is just you know i already created a stamp visible layer with our basic frequency separation so that you know it's just i'm not going to disturb our other actions that we're going to do um right now i'm going to create another stamp visible layer 
sorry i meant i already merged our basic frequency separation layer so right now i'm just creating a stamp visible layer and um, what i'm going to do right now is run my advanced frequency separation same 14 and that is totally fine that works okay great so what i'm going to do is go down to my mixer brush tool pick my mixer brush tool please make sure you use these sends up here these are like the best sends that work for me but you can try something out and see what works for you but th these just work for me now with the basic frequency separation or sorry with the advanced frequency separation and we're working on our low layer that's where our colors are what you can do is also turn on your invert check layer and right now what i'm going to do is work up here you know if i'm just working on my brush right here blending in the highlights and the shadows just making the skin look smoother um let me show you guys what the before and the after looks like you can see that i know it's very subtle just going to zoom in here so you guys can see look at the before and the after really subtle but the whole idea is just blending in the shadows and the highlights and and taking out all those um i would say tiny spots that you were not able to get with your um you're not able to sort out with your micro dodge and burn right so it's just very simple, straight to the point. You don't have to use the invert check layer. If you don't want to, you can just work on it without the invert check layer and just, you know, just fix that up. You know, simple, easy, you know, just don't do too much with that. Um, just going to work on the hands right here. Just blend that in a little bit. So the movement I'm doing with the hands is just up and down just a little bit. But if you guys can see, I'm not moving from the highlights to the shadows. I'm not going this way. Okay, great. So I'm just going to work on this right here. Just blend out a little bit so that looks a little bit better. And um, yeah, that's about it. You know, that's that's literally all I am doing with my frequency separation. Now, the amazing thing about, you know, everything that we're doing now is that you can always just tone it down a little bit. You know, um, if you don't want, if it's too much, this is what it looks like without it. This is what it looks like with it. So you can always tone it down to get the exact um, look that you are going for. Another thing I want to do is just uh, work them out past these. So another thing I want to do is just right here, just work here because I can see some tiny spots that I don't like. Okay, great. Um, that's about it. That is all we are doing with our basic frequency separation. So what I'm going to do right now is just create uh, um, this thing. Global dodge and burn. Okay, great. So, cause I took that out early on. So for my global dodge and burn, what I'm going to do is just pick a brush, um, take my flow all the way to probably three, three is going to work. And um, what I'm going to do right now is just dodge the highlights. So another thing you can do is just turn off every other thing. So you can see where um, exactly how your image looked before you start retouching so you can see these highlights right here i'm just going to work on those right here on the chest as you can see i'm not all zoomed in you know to to work on this image um zoomed out pretty pretty well you know um so i can work on the image the way people are going to see it so that's one thing you have to put at the back of your mind when you are working on an image you know you you'd first work on you know like the the whole image when you are dodging and burning um global dodging and burning first work on the whole image then you can just go in and then just you know work on some tiny places like the pop on the lip you know the ears you know just touch a little bit of the hair all those things you know um tend to come together but just make sure you 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 work on the large parts first before you go in and sort all that out okay so right now we're just going to burn uh so burning is literally just contouring so that's what it is dodging is highlighting burning is contouring so we are just highlighting and contouring like a makeup artist would you know just to um really bring out the shape of our subject's face and you know even the body because um light and shadows make shapes okay great okay so what i'm going to do right now is just turn on my frequency separation because that's where all the information is right now you know probably just turn everything back on and you guys can see where we have gotten to so let's see our before just hold option and click our background layer here our before and our after I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the amazing work we have done in in such a short period of time so this is our before and this is our after before 
after very simple subtle and you know like um still looks really natural still looks really good does not look overly retouched that's the that's the goal that's what we're going for okay great so um another thing i want to talk about is um probably just whiten the eyes by the way i have the action out for free so if you are looking for an action to whiten eyes and teeth then you can always just go get the action it's on my website it's there for free um uh, my digital store so you can go check that out and get that action so all you have to do is run the action come down here to the photo filter and just paint white over the black layer mask and you can do that for t2 you know very simple and easy and you have really white eyes and really white teeth so i'll probably just reduce the opacity so it looks really natural and that is about it if you want any of my actions like my retouching essentials pack there's a link in the description below you can go to my digital store and get that i have some lots i'm probably going to use that for the color grading aspect of this video and also still color grade without the lots so look out for that video it should be coming out the next day after this video drops and um yeah then i also have my retouching master class so if you want a retouching course that will walk you through retouching and also give you images to practice with it's probably going to take you a month to run through everything and after that month you're going to come up or come out as an amazing retoucher and check out my retouching masterclass the link is in the description below give the video a thumbs up if you learned something and if you are expecting the next video let me know that should come out a day after this drops we are going to color grade this image and have it looking amazing so thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day peace out guys